Hey what's up guys, Exalted here, and today I am going to be giving you guys a couple tips and tricks to help you improve the amount of kills you get in a game or even reach um even reach that 20 bomb. So to begin, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pay attention to the bus drop. You're gonna wanna look for the closest, you're gonna wanna look for the closest city that the bus drives over. So in this situation it was greasy. Players tend to drop really early, meaning that that city is going to be pretty well populated, and you're just going to want to be able to remember that for rotations after you usually will rotate out of Tilted. Now right, right after that, the next tip is going to be, you're almost always going to want to go Tilted Towers. Now the reason for this is because there aren't very many locations where you can drop and quickly kill about 10 players, sometimes even more than 10 players. 90% um, of the time, if I'm going for a 20 bomb, I'm going to Tilted Towers, and the only other exception to that is maybe when they release a new location on the map, it's very populated, or maybe if there's a challenge that people are being drawn to that makes that location very populated as well. So, once you get to Tilted, your best chances at getting a high kill game at Tilted, at least coming out of Tilted getting a high amount of kills, is if the bus is one early dropping Tilted, so if it runs over or near Tilted towards the start of the bus drop, and if it is actually over or near Tilted. <laughs> so if you can see in the left, um, you can see the mo my most recent matches and about how many kills I've gotten. You see a lot of zero kill games. The reason why I have these zero kill games is because if I saw that the bus was not going early and over tilted, I would just leave. In this situation, I'm going for 20 kills and I'm going to need the players to be in tilted so I can get those early game kills. The early game kills are what's going to make or break your 20 bomb or even higher. So it's really, really important to make sure that you're getting, you're getting a bus drop that'll push players into tilted and push players near that area if a bus is going really far away from tilted there's no point it's there's not really any other locations to go because the players will just be spread out among salty and salty and uh, retail and all those places it's just going to be too difficult to find enough players in a short and short period of time now for the third tip when it comes to clearing tilted you're going to want to and this is situational you're going to want to do your best to clear tilted by the time the first circle starts to come in so that's about three minutes now the reason for this is sometimes it's a little different i came out of tilted with 14 kills it is rarely rarely happens there were a ton of players in tilted i killed them very quickly it, it was a, it was a little bit lucky but usually you'll come out with 10 kills on a good game and that's when you're going to want to try your best to get all the kills before the first circle starts moving Usually, in my experience, it would happen right about when the first circle started moving. From there, I would rotate straight to Greasy. I would always rotate to Greasy. And the reason why I'd rotate to Greasy is because usually I could find a kill or two just in Greasy. A lot of players, all, Greasy almost always has a player in it. So I could find a person rotating out of Greasy because of the storm, and I could hopefully kill them or kill that team. And then I could hit the rifts. There's a POI at Greasy, and you can hit the rifts. And this kind of leads into my fourth tip, mobility. Mobility is very, very, very key when it comes to getting high kill games. If you, The hard part of high kill games isn't being able to kill the players. I'm not going to say it's the easy part, but it's definitely not the hard part. The hard part is finding enough players to even get that high kill game because you can kill every single player you ever see but if you only see eight players it's just an eight kill game or if you only see two players it's a two kill game you need to be able to even find 20 players to get a 20 kill game and believe me it's not the easiest thing to do so that's why you're going to greasy that's why you're picking up that team real quick to kill them and then you're hitting the rifts and when i hit the rifts this is when you want to remember where the bus started dropping if it if the closest city to the bus was maybe salty what you can do is you can hit those rifts in greasy and you can go over towards there's another rift location it's right by the golden bridge kind of on the south side of the map near factories 2.0 and um, to the left of, I think it's Fatal Fields. You can hit that rift and it'll take you straight to Salty. And usually by the time you hit those two rifts, you will have already found another team or two. So that's another four to six kills, two, two to four kills, depending on if you're playing um, solos or duos. Um, 
Personally, I find it much easier to get higher kill games in duos because you can, like I said, find more players. Every time you find a player, usually you can get two kills because there's two players there. Um, when it comes to solos, people die too fast. There's so many players that are just killing each other. Like, there's nobody on a team. Like, by the time the first circle closes, there's 20 players left. Like, that's... It's so difficult to get high kills just because there's not enough players on the map for you to actually kill. That's why I find duos a little easier, but it is harder because you do have to kill two P. You're getting, you're pretty much always getting third party. Now, we've talked about using rifts, using launch pads, using, and launch pads it comes to luck, using these things to m manipulate yourself around the map so you can find more players to kill. Um, after that, this is when it starts to get a little, a little more towards the late game. The late game when going for a high kill game is completely different than the beginning to middle game. Beginning game, you are just W key bum rushing every, every player you hear, every player you see, everybody you want, every possible kill. Same with mid game. Mid game, it's not as much bum rushing everybody, it's trying to find them. Mid game, you need to use lo you need to use the circle rotations to your advantage, and by this I mean use the circle rotations. So the bigger part of the circle that's getting pushed into the circle is usually going to be more players. So the bigger area that's going to be in zone usually has more players, and they're all going to pushed into they're all going to be pushed into one spot, and you're going to want to prioritize getting to that spot so you can kill more players, because there's usually more players when they're all getting, they'll all be in one spot, so it'll be, they'll be closer together, it'll be easy to third party and get easier kills, things like that. Now the mid game is, like I said, it's pretty, it's difficult, but it's not as like W key gang as like the early game, just because you're, you're spending a lot of time finding these players. Um, but the late game is completely different. The late game, you need to play very safe. The late game is when there's a lot of really good players. These players have one made it to the late game and two because they have made it to the late game. They're probably full on health, full on shield. They have very nice items, plenty of ammo and mats. So this is where you're going to play it very safe. And I'd say late game starts around top 10, maybe yeah, about top 10, maybe top 15, usually top 10. In this situation, you can see I have 21 kills. There's one team left in front of me. This player looks pretty decent, but what I'm doing is I'm just holding my high ground. I'm just waiting for the zone to come into me. I'm waiting for them to be pushed. Now, this player, he's a pretty decent player. He's reinforcing himself. He's not letting me shoot him down because I'll get sniped by his teammate if I peek for too long. But you see right here, the zone actually killed him. Now, I just have a 1v1, quick 1v1, but I didn't get the kill for that player getting knocked by, I guess, Storm almost. And what I do was not the smartest it wasn't like stupid but it was very very greedy what i do is i sit here and i let the teammate res him because i wanted those two kills i wanted to get the 23 kill game so i'm sitting here i'm like come on like res him like, just let him go and i think this dude like kind of knew what was going on he's like all right like maybe he won't shoot me and he goes over starts resing him counting to 10 in my head and uh, I wait for them to get the res, and I'm like, okay. So the second player, the one that was not knocked, I knew he was weak because I hit him in the head and hit him in the body shot twice with my scar. So I then push him, and I apparently miss that shot. That shot, I was completely planning on being able to kill him and getting a quick kill and getting the nice easy kill on uh, his teammate. But it did not go according to plan, and I started getting spammed out, stuck in a box. So I had to deal with, with this player right here. Now, when it comes to solo duos or solo squads, try not to get tunnel vision, which means don't just stare at one player and only shoot that one player. You'll get killed by his teammates. Make sure you're rotating between the different players, whoever's easiest to kill. So this game did have a very unfortunate ending, but it was all because I got super, super greedy. Um, <laughs> so I guess the final tip would be don't get greedy. That's going to be everything for you guys. I hope you learned something in this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.